Meeting in Berlin with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, President Bush continues to push for solidarity when it comes to dealing with Iran. The president wants European nations to put the same pressure on Iran that the U.S. is, calling on Tehran to stop its nuclear program. But European countries likely will wait to see what happens when the EU's foreign policy chief visits Iran within days and offers a package of incentives in exchange for stopping its enrichment program. Right now, many European leaders are calling for more time to allow current diplomatic measures time to work. My first choice, of course, is to solve this diplomatically. All options are on the table. And the, but the first choice is to solve this problem by working closely together, by sending a dual message, which has been the consistent policy of this administration, that if you verifiably suspend your enrichment programs, uh, you'll end your isolation. And there's a way forward for you. The Iranian regime has made a choice so far, and it's a bad choice for the Iranian people. The president attended the USEU summit for the final time on Tuesday. Afterwards, leaders issued a joint declaration saying the U.S. and Europe are prepared to supplement previous sanctions with additional measures if Iran does not halt nuclear enrichment. Speaking to reporters on the president's trip to Germany, National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley said if Iran rejects this latest offer, then all countries need to turn up the pressure. The president has said he's eager to resolve the nuclear standoff with Tehran before his presidency ends. After leaving Germany, the president will travel to Italy to meet with the Italian president, Sofia Manos. The Associated Press.